One day, I'm here at home, and my uncle who was in the military calls me in the kitchen and tells me, before you do that, take a piece of paper and a pen. And I'm thinking, man, what in the world is he wanting me to do now? And then I go, he sits me down, and he tells me that I must begin to work out. Because back then, bro, I'm like a pretty fat boy. And then he tells me, you gotta have a workout routine. And he basically made a shitty workout routine for me, for like doing push-ups, ab curls, doing some warm-up thing, exercises, whatever. And he tells me, you got to do it every day. I begin doing it, then I hate it, bro, I don't like it, and I was like, bro, I'd rather play video games, watch anime, Naruto, Dragon Ball, and stuff like this. And I just want to stay in comfort. And then, I begin doing it for longer, it kind of forms into a habit, and then I start to see results. And I'm saying, oh, this thing actually works. And then I begin researching more, I begin learning more. I begin thinking, oh man, I didn't have enough protein in that time, in those months that I was been working out, did I even make as much progress as I could have? <laughs> and I begin learning more, I begin doing more, optimizing my workouts, doing all this. And before you know it, the more time passed, the more I began liking and then loving to work out, and the more consistent I became, to the point at which it became a part of me, bro. It became an instinct. I do it every day because I cannot live without it, bro. And of course, don't worry, I have enough rest. But the point is, bro, the point is, I went from not liking to work out because perhaps it was forced on me and because, bro, low testosterone, lower testosterone, you get the point. From beginning to love to work out every day because it makes me feel amazing and also because it became a part of who I am, of my identity, and uh, it became an instinct. This is how it all looks from what I saw from my journey. We want to go from choices, which is basically choosing to, oh yeah, I should work out and you choose to, to do it. And we go from choices to then habits, which, which became pretty much automatic, but they're not fully optimized because you can follow habits, especially when, um, even if the habit is strong, you can follow it, especially when you get more success in that area and they just get too comfortable and then you just don't feel like putting in the work, you don't have a good enough reason, you just, you just don't. But then you go from habits to instincts. And you know how an instinct is basically, you, let's say you put a, your hand on the hot stove or hot surface. You don't sit there and think, Oh, should I get my hand out of this hot surface or not? Bro, your brain and nervous system tells you, bro, get your head, hand out immediately. And you do that. It's basically survival level. And how we translate, translate this into doing the work and good habits that will get us the better results and make us feel better. Well, bro, I know it might sound boring, but bro, you just got to do the work more. Look at Michael Jordan, look at Kobe Bryant, look at Cristiano Ronaldo and other top level players. They just did the work for longer. And many people have this uh, desire to just do the minimal amount of work and get the best results, bro. <laughs> that ain't possible, bro. Let's see Michael and Kobe practice in this case four times a day basketball. Let's say this other teammate or teammates practice two times a day. In the span of two years, bro, simply by doing more work, and you might say, oh, but quantity is not quality, bro, you get the point, bro. You get better because you do that thing for longer, especially in sports. And in those two years, bro, in this case, if they keep training every day for this amount, well, Kobe and Michael will have almost 3,000 practice sessions, bro, compared to their teammate which has only almost 1,500. Kobe and Michael have double, and of course, obviously, two versus four, so 
a day. And you might think, oh, does this really matter? But the, com the compound effect shows it, bro. 1, 000, almost 1,500 practice sessions in two years compared to almost 3,000 practice sessions, practice sessions in, the, in the same time frame, time span, whatever, two years. Do you see the difference? Obviously, they worked for more. They had coaches, they analyzed their games, they had a, a physical trainer, Tim Grover. And the more you do that, the more it becomes into an instinct, to an identity. That's what it happened for me with the workout. And also the same with this YouTube channel. Now, I know, at the moment, we don't have such an amazingly big audience. But 358 people, which is not that many, but still, I managed to give value to them. That's why they subscribe and all that. 358 is a bigger number than one. Now, do you think that I was as good at speaking back then in my first video? I'm not saying I'm great at speaking and, and all that. But right now, compared to my first ever videos, the videos are way better quality. They have way bigger value in them. I'm way better at speaking and getting my point across and perhaps and have more experiences, more stories to tell you and uh, more learning lessons from my personal experience. I became even more confident on camera at the point at which I'm at a book launch that, of my mother's book and uh, literally like TV cameras, uh, one TV camera with um, um, some people just come to us uh, and uh, interview us about the book, whatever. And I'm sitting there thinking, man, I can, I can speak with confidence to a TV camera without having any worries because I've been posting hundreds of videos on YouTube before, bro, speaking, speaking to you. Very interesting, huh? So the more time you do this, bro, you see that the more you, the more confident the, you become, the more skilled you become, the more passionate you become, 100% that's for me, the more consistent you become. And you might say, oh, but Sebastian, you had, uh, you posted daily um, at one point, but why don't you post daily right now? How do you call that consistency? Bro, I'm working behind the camera. Back then when I posted daily, probably the value wasn't as high. I mean... I'm really focusing on each and every video. I want to make it better and better and better one by one by one by one. Basically, what I'm saying with this is YouTube also became a part of my identity. Not necessarily, I don't want to put it in terms of consuming, but in terms of creating content, uh, bro, I love it. It's like probably do this forever. I mean, from being shy on the camera and posting from time to time, not that super valuable content, to literally, not the best level, obviously I still got to improve, but a way better level than compared to the first one, right? And when you think of players like Kobe Bryant, Cristiano Ronaldo, Michael Jordan, Jordan, you think work ethic, you think consistency. Why? Because of their actions. So the more you do it, the more, again, it becomes an instant. You basically can't live without it. It's not just a habit. Especially imagine if you change the environment. You're happy. You might follow your habits, especially in that moment. The good habits that you do and staying away from the bad ones. You want to make that consistent. And either way, bro, th think about it. You might, you might get angry that, oh man, I missed so many days. Bro, chill, relax. Because you only have a, perhaps a few months or a year on your self-development journey, right? Bro, the more time it passes, the more consistent you become. And it makes sense, bro, right? Imagine if you just, const if, imagine if you this month have, uh, have the goal or have a goal of, let's say, procrastinating only for 10 days. And then the next month for like 9 days or 8 days, let's say. And you get the point, you go lower and lower and lower to the point at which you become, you, you solidify it as a routine, as a, an instinct. And fair enough, it might take quite some time, maybe even a long, a lot of time. People, mo many people don't want to hear that. But, bro, either way, if you're, if you keep having that mentality, bro, you ain't making that much progress. Do you think that if I kept having the mentality of, oh man, get muscle fast, get muscle fast, 
when uh, the start of my fitness journey do you think i would still be in this game and even now maybe not i don't know be the point is i realized okay it can take quite a long time to build muscle and to get whatever results in other areas so the point is we just need to do the thing for more you see this at, at the top players i told you with my experience in the working out and the youtube stuff i mean you just need to be a bit more patient that's what i saw for me, for myself and it works bro i mean the more time passes you might think that you've been on this journey for quite a lot and you deserve the amazing results and all that bro maybe you need to be more patient maybe you need a few more months and years to get that amazing to that amazing level and it doesn't just bow i mean it, it it doesn't just go up like this. It, uh, I mean, the compound, compound effect. It, it grows gradually in this case. Through that, the more time passes, the more you develop that work into an instinct. Because we operate on identity and beliefs pretty much. I'm pretty sure those are only two things. There might be more, but basically identity and beliefs. And if our, our, uh, and if our identity is of an individual that is unorganized that is lazy that doesn't do the work obviously we won't have a good reason to do it right but if we begin even brainwashing ourselves into thinking that we are that organized productive individual will we become begin to become that if we put if we start also doing that activity so that's what I did. It works for me amazingly well. Identity is literally such an important concept for you to understand in terms of consistency. We can change our identity, our beliefs, and so begin doing that. Begin telling yourself that you are actually productive and, and all that. And the more you tell yourself, not just once, the more you tell yourself, the more you solidify that belief, even though it's not true yet. <laughs> but you begin showing yourself through actions, bro. And you begin to have proof, right? So that's basically the concept of consistency or at least a concept of consistency if you're interested in learning more about this and be, and really nail this down you can you can also join my coaching for free it's the, it's usually paid but for some time i want to do it for free if not either way i hope you got great value from this bro and uh you can also join our discord server the link is in the description of more guys on self-development to keep us we can keep ourselves accountable and all that remember we're limitless because we'll never peak if you so choose to. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I keep on working, got purpose and worth. Music's my cure in this world is my purse. Get rid of this curse with every reverse. Of course I've been hurt, but some have been much worse. Leave me alone, get out of my head. Walk out the opinions until I am dead. If they all go to sleep, but you listen instead. Listen some more and you'll cease to regret. I keep on working, I got it on track. You're gonna see my name up on the flag. I feel this shit and I'll never come back.